Good day, my friends. Welcome back. Today, we are in a TLC project. This truck is a 1989 FJ62. Lovely model, very well built, just really good quality. So this truck is what we call a stage three restored truck, meaning it went down to pretty much absolutely nothing, the bare ladder frame and then up again. So the frame is powder coated, mil spec one, and perhaps more importantly, underneath the pretty black finish is an epoxy based powder coat primer that was actually originally intended for underwater pipelines. So super, super durable. Pretty much every nut and bolt on the truck has been turned and addressed. It was literally a body shell and a frame rail and raw axle housings. So of course, complete front and rear axle overhaul, new spindles, new bearings, all Burfield seals, ring and pinions gone through, blah, 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 blah. And then the brakes were upgraded. We're running four wheel disc brakes, specifically in the front. Those are the TLC designed four pot calipers, all stainless steel plumbing and lines. Suspension is old man emu however uh, mild deviation our friends at fox racing helped us out and we found a wonderful fox racing shock that works very well with the emu leafs shackles and bushings for powertrain we are running the sadly discontinued by gm the 5.3 so it's basically the truck application motor from i mean it's still considered structurally part of the ls family but it's 5.3 liters and it's pushing out about 320 horsey and 325 torque we're running the general motors 4l65e automatic transmission which in turn sends power through the 19 spline split case which is the stock transfer case for this truck Drive shafts completely rebuilt, OEM, Toyota, U joints, and they've been bench balanced and all that fun stuff. You'll also notice our air box to isolate the intake filter. And then of course, uh, aluminum radiator. We're running an engine standalone oil cooler, as well as a standalone transmission cooler up in front. Steering system is dead stock, but 100% new OEM parts. Electrical system has been completely taken apart. Of course, we did LED upgrades pretty much everywhere, all the way through to the dome light. Wow, how fancy. Headlights are by JW Speaker. Chrome bumpers have been completely gone through, re-chromed, uh, triple plate chrome, better than factory, all new factory ends on them. Exterior trim is all new, all the grills and plastics and rubber and weather strip and glass and rear view mirrors and, and, and 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 uh, bare metal respray in this lovely charcoal finish gauges have been completely gutted and restored although they are dead stock we zeroed out the odometer at the client's request dash pads unfortunately have been discontinued on these trucks now which makes us very sad so this one has been restored and the client had us change it to a black finish to be more in theme with his interior design interior came out beautiful on this truck very bespoke and simple high quality leather it's uh, from right here in the good old US of A and we perforated the center sections for comfort and styling the front seats are not stock they are the seats we use in the icons and uh, we love them. The rear seat, however, is stock, although we reupholstered it to match the aesthetic and design pattern we did on the front. Same with the door panels, master power window switches new as the motors and all switches are either new or thoroughly rebuilt pending availability. Inside of the quarter panels, the floor, the roof and the doors are all coated in Dynamat, which is why the sound quality is so lovely in this video. Center console, we couldn't fit the Icon one, so we're running a skinny Tuffy. Dash, we're running the audio system that we like, the Pioneer 8200 NEX with CarPlay, Bluetooth, CD, satellite, and everything you would like to see in a modern touchscreen double-din audio. They fit 
directly into the stock 62 dash which is great the only bad news is they are not cheap but i find them to be the best in the market we're also running amplifier upgraded focal audio speakers all in the stock locations rear cargo panels have all been restored again in the stock pattern with all improved materials and baseboard carpet uh, we kept it looking stock but we did a dense pile marine rated cut loop instead of loop 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 runs like pantyhose cut loop does not and the denser pile makes it even better for sound and heat insulation and it just looks slightly classier uh, additional simple mods done the steering wheel was leather wrapped the power port and uh, micro what do you call it headphone jack thingamajigger input uh, just below the audio unit and uh, what else oh we got a class 2 hitch receiver we have trailer brake control added under dash tinted windows just with a film these windows are not flat therefore we cannot do our super fancy within laminate tent thank you as always for taking the time to watch our videos if you have any further interest or question in the tlc brand please go to tlc4x4.com and you can call us old school at 818-280-3330 i am frankly let's say i think the only word is negligent when it comes to the tlc social media on facebook i will work to address that meaning hopefully talk one of my employees into managing it because i just can't keep up in the meantime on instagram under icon4x4 you will find all of our major restorations posted there be well